Good morning and thank you for joining us here on click to Houston.com. The humidity is finally out of here and we're starting to see our temperatures drop as well. So a nice cool day. We're going to be waking up in the 50s for most of Southeast Texas. So grab a light jacket, especially for the little ones and this afternoon picking them up from school. Gorgeous sunshine and we'll have temperatures this afternoon more seasonable for the last day of November. We'll have temps in the mid to upper 60s. So the cold front that rolled through is now offshore. It's still causing some very severe weather in the southeast. So if you do have flight plans there, you need to keep that in mind. And we have a lot of cool dry air locked up in North Texas that still has to filter in and you're really going to notice that difference coming up for tomorrow morning. Now let's talk about the weekend. We're tracking a pretty big storm that's in the Pacific Northwest. Now it's going to take a deep dive into North Mexico and head in our direction for this weekend. So until then we have gorgeous weather, but as we head into Saturday and Sunday, that upper level low in North Mexico is going to pull in a ton of Pacific moisture. At the same time, we have this area of high pressure that is bringing us the gorgeous weather for the next three days out to our east and that pumps in the Gulf moisture. So we have both sources just sitting right on top of Southeast Texas and that's going to translate into a very soggy weekend. Cool temperatures in the 50s for most of the weekend. We're looking at uh, one to two inches for part of Southeast Texas, but the potential is there for three to four inches of rain as long as it's spread out over Saturday, Sunday and Monday. I don't think we'll have large flooding concerns, but we'll continue to keep a very close eye on it. We'll be in the mid 60s for this afternoon. Just beautiful weather to close out the work week. Late Friday night, uh, we could see some showers rolling in, but the majority of the rain falling over the weekend and into the beginning of next week. Also, if you notice towards the end of the 10 day forecast, we could have our first freeze as we really get into the month of December. We'll keep a close eye on that as well.